Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning. For I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Greetings. It is such a joy to bring you devotions sponsored by the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I am Father Dave Thomas, the priest in charge of Holy Saviour's Parish, Ken Island. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke, the 19th chapter, beginning at the 45th verse. And then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Many of you have traveled to cities outside of the Bahamas or have watched movies filmed in large cities, have seen a countdown clock at pedestrian crosswalks. This timer alerts you of how much time you have to cross the road. It lets you know when you have to pick up the pace or when you can walk freely. During these last two weeks in the church's liturgical calendar, is kind of a countdown clock that the church presents to us. As it reminds us of the other element of the kerygma, namely that here on earth, our physical life has a countdown clock. That our time here on earth, our earthly life is limited. Therefore, we are called to use our time according to God's holy will in order that we may have that life for eternity. In the gospel today, our Lord's cleansing of the temple reminds us that we too need to cleanse our temple, ourselves, of anything that impedes God's action in our lives. In the New Testament, the reading for morning prayer from Revelation reminds us that sometimes the cleansing of this temple is not as easy, but it is necessary. At times, it is going to be unpleasant. It is going to require us to overcome our will in order to do what is good for our eternal life, not just for our immediate needs or pleasures or desires here at this moment on earth. Sometimes in life, we compromise our spiritual health to feed our physical nature. A former rector of mine used to say, what may be sweet to the lips can be sour to the stomach, indicating that succumbing to our will rather than God's will might be enjoyable for a time, but eventually it will hurt us. So friends, our earthly life have a countdown clock an expiration date, but eternity where we will know the fullness and the reality of the love of God and ways we can only have hinted toward us here on earth is forever. Either you cleanse your temple and choose God's way or you follow your own path. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, 
you stretch out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that every one might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Please share this devotions with those whom you love and you pray for. Amen. Amen.